All right, what are you trying to... Look, you ain't sick no more. You want to play a while? Go right ahead. But if you try and pull an escape again, I'll put a bullet between your eyes. Did you hear me, Stark? Or are you dead already? Hey, listen, Stark. I'm talking to you. So pick up that heathen head of yours and look me in... What the... La, La Lepra! Just shut up. <laughs> Stark. Hello, Warner. Sorry to use this entrance, but I thought the other one might be a little bit crowded. I'm glad to see you in such obviously good health. Hey, hombre, listen, this Mind is your open... business and shut up. <laughs> it's good to see you. I heard they transferred you to the jail in Yuma. They did. Well, they couldn't keep you long, though, could they? Eight months. That's just a little, uh, 
Shorter than you planned on, isn't it? What do you mean? Now, hold it, Stark. As soon as I heard you'd been moved to Yuma, I was trying to figure out a way to come help you. You did it yourself. I mean, you made it on your own, huh? Took you a long time to figure that out, Warner. Yeah, okay. We're still friends. We are friends, right? Can a good friend help another? Need anything? Would you like some cash? Cash, Star? <laughs> the Rio Negro. He killed the Americano, Warner. Another desperado that's better off dead. Uh, but then he killed four of our own muchachos. And one of them was Fuentas, El Pistolero. What do we do with him, Excelencia? You haven't learned your lesson. Hmm? I told you not to come back to Rio Negro. There'll be no generosity this time. Well, nobody asked for any. Thank you. Vamos. So you were saying my son refused to follow you? Hmm? Senor, Excelencia, he kicked us out with a pistol in the back. Hmm. I told him you sent us. He wouldn't listen. He said he's better off where he is now. Anybody that tries to get me again, he said, will never go back to Rio Negro alive. He's not in Mexico now, but across the border. We can't do nothing, Senor, Excelencia. <laughs> Try aquí el gringo. Out. Wait a moment. The matter concerns you too. Untie. Hmm? Cut the rope. What'd you do? Change your mind? Often providence alters destiny. Come. I will make you an offer. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. You prefer whiskey or tequila? What are you having? Tequila. Whiskey. My wife and I have an only son, Fidel. We left this house to join a band of outlaws run by one who is known as the Major. I find it ridiculous. He prefers to give up the fortune that he is entitled to only to join a bunch of renegades. His mother and I have suffered great anguish since the day he left. 
we would give anything to see our son. You will be allowed to go free if you bring him back to us. I promise you. You know the one they call the Major? Yeah, that's Charlie Donegan. I know him very well. Whatever you ask, you'll get. I don't care. I'm willing to pay, Star. Pay heavily to destroy the villain, the criminal that, that has turned our son against us. Without him, our life is empty. The magic pocket, Fidel. Yeah. 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 Okay. Into the magic pocket, huh? Si, si. Right. Chocolate? No, peanuts. <laughs> you. Me too. Mm. Me three. Mm. And for me four. Then we eat a big bird. Hmm? Think you can do the trigger happy there, son? Oh. It was just a game, Sheriff. We were hunting for our supper. She see a big bird. I think the game is over now, Secret, huh? Mm. Hey, Mount, get that animal out of there. Yes, sir. Heads up, Dozer. Heads up. Yes, sir. Why do you want to die so young? My compliments on your play acting, Major. But you'd never have laid your hands on my money without deceit. It's not your money, York. It belongs to the suckers who gave it to you. You own every gambling joint in the area. So don't you think it's right to give a little tax to a war veteran? <laughs> Go on, search and take every penny he's got. Why not? Go ahead. You can take my watch, too. Yeah, will do. Here you are. Take it. All right, men. Now, don't forget to load your watches. <laughs> <laughs> it needs winding. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Kill me? <clears throat> don't you know you can't play dirty tricks like that on old soldiers? I should have guessed that that pistol shot was a signal. Thanks, young fella. I think I'm going to keep it, Major. I've always wanted to watch the pigs like this. <laughs> All right, Dixon, let's take that money and get out of here. Bye, York. Hmm. Bye, 
joke. I did it again. I won. I hit the jackpot. I won, Major, and with number 13. I won. Ah, come on, Pick. I say you're such a bore. So testy. They're my winnings, Major. All right, boys, let's go! Your help. Pilgrim? Fidel, it's time to go. Then, sir, should you see a lady called Fidel? Okay. There's a time and place for everything. And I suppose this is the time to eat peanuts? No. He's only a token of my love. He. Yeah. Where is Sheila? Have a little drink, a little whiskey, pen. It's special stuff. Tell them to keep drink. Happy? <laughs> Sheila, don't touch us. Sheila, ven aquí. The lady's all right where she is. Huh. Well, who do you think you are? Someone who doesn't like a loud mouth. You little pig, I'll make you pay. Make you pay right away! <laughs> <laughs> Sheriff to drain his whiskey and say it's his personal keg. seen the inside of the jail here? And have you seen who's at the door? Yeah, I know. Let's go. Now 
let's get one thing straight. This is my duck. And nobody's going to cook it, understand? Well, well. <laughs> if it isn't my old friend Stark. Finally got smart, didn't you? Yep, just took me a little longer than you, Charlie. Yeah. Still got the old pumper, huh? And you still got your whip. Yep. The war never really ended for you, did it, Charlie? Got yourself a regular army here. I'm a born soldier. That drunkard Grant wouldn't even promote me to corporal. I fought one war to make funds for the government. Now I'm fighting another one to make funds for me. Where'd you find him? Mm, he intercepted a knife on its way to my heart. Yeah, he's very good at that sort of thing. You want to hang around, Stark? I'll make you a lieutenant. A captain? No, thanks. Well, I can't make you a major. I made myself one. I've got other plans, Charlie. All right, let's forget it. Come on in, have a drink. Corporal of the Guard! Sound off the last post! boys, earn your money. Can I also take my shot? Not today, Gunther. You have three kills to your credit already. One dollar. Heathcliff, fire! Bad, Heathcliff. Very bad. I'm sorry for your sake. I think you'll have to give up tobacco and women. Two dollar target. Just checking. Ten dollar target. What do you? Oh. High roll wins. All right. Clean two. Five. Yeah. <laughs> Six. <You> dirty. <laughs> My turn, Major. I'm going after the Colonel. You're only a dollar man. I need a hundred dollars, Major, if I'm to send my son to West Point. I'm going to shoot now. You wait. Hmm. You'll see. <laughs> there goes your dollar, Washington. If I only had one man who could hit that kernel of corn. Charlie, you owe me a hundred bucks. I'll pay you. 
Sergeant Pick. Yes, sir. Carry on. Yes, sir. Okay, Stark. I'll pay you the money. But that box is getting a little empty, and I have to keep paying the men. You know, to keep an outfit like mine at peak efficiency could be very expensive. If I don't pay those men, it's goodbye discipline. Charlie, how'd you like to make a million bucks without losing a man? You're feverish. You feel all right? You're fine. You're just fine. A plan I've been working on for some time. I'm going to need ten of your men. Let's sit down. There's a train that leaves Tulsa for El Paso. Kind of a special train. It carries an armored car and an escort, but no passengers. That's nothing new, Stark. I thought about that train myself many times. You're talking about the gold train that hauls for Tulsa Mines, right? Right. And you want ten of my men, huh? Uh-huh. You couldn't take that train with my whole army. This is how it goes. Between Glen and Sidrock is 50 miles of open country. At one point, the track takes a curve around the mountain and goes straight out over the Sidrock River Bridge. We take up their track and we put down our track. And instead of going over that bridge, that train goes straight down into the river. Not one man on that escort will come out alive. Then we've got all the time in the world to help ourselves with the gold. Two million bucks, Charlie. One for you. And one for me. Hold it. <laughs> what did you say to the Major? I never saw him run so fast. Keep Boy. still and shut up. Come on, Sidney. You're right. We put the false track right there. The false track? Shut up and listen. That's right, Charlie, but we got a problem. That train's due in less than a month. Now, we got two things to do. I've got to go out and scout this location, and all you have to do is pick up 50 yards of track. That's all I have to do, huh? I'm going to need another man, Charlie, but I don't want just a gun. I want a gun with brains. The hell's your boys. Got them both. Come on. Bye, Sidney. Tracks right over that ridge. Now, uh, what do you think I made of deal, amigo? You said scout the location, not the whole country. I'm dead tired. Well, we'll have some chow and get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow we'll take a look at those tracks. You get some firewood. I'll start the coffee. Sorry, Stark, but I'm too tired to stay awake, and I don't want to eat. Then don't. Sweet dreams. The more you move around, the tighter those ropes get. Who tied me up? I did. So you'd sleep tight. Coffee? <coughs> now that's too bad. There's nothing like a good cup of coffee to get the day started right. Oh, if you're looking for your gun, it's uh, over there. I thought we came to inspect that track. Uh, nope, that's a little joke I made up. Get you away from Charlie. Yeah, I know. My father sent you, huh? That's right. 
And I saw your mother, too. Why don't you mind your own business? But you are my business. You're worth a lot of money to me. You ought to thank me. That's a pretty good deal you got going back there. It was only my father's opinion. Okay, Fidel. You promise to be a good boy, you can untie yourself. Be home in a couple of days, and then say goodbye. We say goodbye right here, Dad. You can go to my father by yourself. I'm going back to the Major. You hear me, Stark? I'm going back to the Major. There's just one way you can stop me. With a bullet in my back. And then you can take a corpse to the hacienda with you. Dios, amigo. So then it must be about seven. You are right all day. I'll be back by sunset. So, let's see what time it is. According to my clock, your time just ran out. Let's go. You want to pick that gun up? Okay. But nice and slow. Butt in first. Okay, Stark. But I warn you, the Major won't like this. Not at all. I'm sure. Let's go. long, Stark. I'd be sure not to run into the Major again. He's not the kind to leave any wounded behind him, like I'm doing. Yeah, you're right. He would, nor would I. We wouldn't leave anybody to bleed to death out here like you are. Come on, kid. Just one more. Come on, one more good one. Come on, they shoot horses, don't they? Come on! Okay, Stark. I guess I owe you one for the saloon. I'll take you to see the doctor and Glenn. Yeah, well, oh. guess we'll have to amputate it. Amputate down to the pole. Amputate what, Doc? What do you mean, what? Your pig. And precisely her left hind leg. <laughs> but you'll die, poor thing. Nonsense. All a mankind walks around without a left hind quarter. Well, I say if a man can, so can the sow. She was pussyfoot and so thought her stomach was upset. Then we figured out that she ate the same portion that you gave Beulah to the mule. The mule? No, more. now don't confuse me. The vital point of phlogistic suffering in this here swine is the carbuncle here. The shanks all too much. She'll die. Not if you know how to hold this doctor's lancet and truncate the malignancy. <laughs> Whatever happened? My friend here needs a doctor. 
My husband's at the Greenwoods, last house at the end of town. Will he come back soon? <laughs> Not if he starts in gabbing. Well, you mind I leave him here with you, madam? Don't mind at all. Go right ahead. Imagine you're better off uh, sitting him right down here on this chair. This one? That's right. Just make yourselves at home. Uh, I'm going now to get the doctor. Mm. If you need your gun. Eh? Adios. Are you Dr. Penny Backer? Depends who I'm answering to. A friend of mine is hurt, Doctor. Can't go round, round all hours of the night. I only go on night call for expecting mothers. You ain't telling me your friend's going to have a baby. <laughs> no, but you just made a visit, didn't you? I go on night call solely as a veterinarian. <laughs> hey, my cat's got her leg broke, Doc. Broke her leg? Well, I can't go pussyfoot and fix it. Cat. <laughs> ain't even good enough to steal. Carry on, Jameson. I think you got the sheriff's post sewed up for the next five years. Jameson, that's one of the majors plowing. You certain of that, York? You're kidding? He stole my derringer. What happened? Over there! It's away! There! Hey, hey! Come on, Doc. Get this slug out of me. Here, yeah, well, lie down where I can get a better look at you. Yeah, bullets, no joke. That lodge is in the vital part. Now then. Now let's see where the trouble. Yeah. Make a clearing here. Yeah, where? Uh... Huh? Don't see no bullet. Mighty strange, son. Come on, Doc, hurry it up. Yeah, well, it don't come out as fast as it goes in. Now then, here I was. I wouldn't get too happy about it, York. You put your nose out here, get you right between the eyes. Hold your fire, numbskulls. You ain't gonna scare a madman. You Mexicano, you can't keep hiding. If this rug doesn't break away, I can keep hiding all day. Hey, there. Hey, gotcha. Derringer, too. You can't pull that trick on me. He can hide behind bars now. All right, get with it. Don't bother, Sheriff. Ain't he sitting on the wrong side of the border? Half-breeded son of a good-for-nothing varmint. 
Time's a waste in New York. The critter's yours. No, he's mine. <laughs> Give up, do you, son? That's right. And they weren't giving up either. The bullet didn't hurt too much. You're moving around, my son. But I made you think it was bad enough to take me to a doctor, didn't I? Your father and my five thousand bucks are winning. Should we go? <laughs> Why not? I play long stock. Yeah, I know you will, but I'm suspicious by nature. Sit there and huh? please. Okay. Keep your eyes open and don't sneeze. If you close them, I'll be gone. I'm not about to sneeze away $5,000, no, am I? You didn't help things much coming up here, Fidel. It happens that one of those stiffs over there is a U.S. Marshal. Yeah, well, I didn't kill him. You did. That means we're going to have a whole battalion of federal troops on our tails. So we uh, ought to get moving. How do we go from here? Well, now we'll have to go over Vulture Bridge and reach the border across the Krogate Desert. You lost your mind. We never make it across the desert. That's just what they'll figure. Let's go. And what there is, is hardly promising. A youngster fitting his description was last seen in Glenn. Well, what about Stark? Weren't they together? They don't know nothing about Chad Stark. It seems that Pete Elgo was recognized and pursued by the sheriff. Then the kid must be in trouble. All right, let's get the lead out. <laughs> All right. Now we'll divide into three groups. You command the first group, right? Gunther, you command the second group, yeah. and I'll command the third. And me, Major. You're going along with me. Go and tell the men to fall in. Okay, Major. Now, I figure the kid came through Sidroke City on his way to Glen. Or he might have gone south to San Antone. Where's my duck? What about the old Comanche Trail? Vulture Pass, are you out of your mind? The kid's too smart for that. You just follow the Sidroke River. Now, Gunter. Yes, sir. You take this whole Glen area, and I'll go north to Cimarron Cross, and then we'll rendezvous down here at the railroad bridge. Where's my duck? Hmm? The troops are ready, Major. Have you seen my duck? Who, Major? I, I haven't seen. Where'd the fucking platypus duck? Give me. Oh, boy, you have to fry it. Duck! Sir? Heathcliff. If she's lost one feather, I'll kill you. Small bridge. Mm -hmm. You look strong enough for us, but what about the horses? We leave them here. Get off. 
You go on foot? Uh-huh. All the way to Mexico? If we have to. Uh, look, I like to ride, Stark. I... I do too, but this time we walk. Take your saddle. Suppose we rest up on the other side, huh? Come on. No! Bye bye, Star. like I did at the bridge. This tastes pretty good after the run you had. You went back to the bridge, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I knew you would. I also knew you'd have to come back to this place. It's the only shelter within 200 miles. It belongs to a friend of mine. What have you in mind now? Same thing. Nothing's changed. I'm going to take you back to your father. <sighs> The only difference is this time, you're going tied up. Ah. 
Make it. Well, now that's too bad. We got a long way to go. It's nice for you. You got a horse. But for me, it's a different story. It's a different story. You decided to trust me. <laughs> you're not going anywhere out here. Not with what you're going to be carrying on your back. Get up. I'm going to be walking right along with you. There's barely enough water for both of us, and I don't want you dead. Take a short rest. If we stay out here too long, we're going to be here forever. Let's go. Five minutes won't kill nobody, huh? Mexico's that way, Fidel. I can't see. Got sweat in my eyes. I walk south. You can't miss it. Don't make sense. <laughs> Let's sit at the round table and solve the riddle through logic. Logic, you? <laughs> the only thing he ever did at a round table was get drunk. <laughs> oh! Report in, Corporal. Yeah. Nothing, sir. That's uh, what I meant. What about Gunther? He'll be here any second. There's the hooligan now, sir. He's coming this way. Fidel went winging out of Glen in a whole darn posse, riding right on his boots. And then the next day, there were four bodies and one sheriff found stone dead, sir. Well, then the kid's all right. What about Stark? It could be that Stark figured how to convince Fidel to do the job on their own. Stark might have tried that, but the kid wouldn't do that to me. Come on, we're going south. <laughs> for bed. If I give you my word not to try to escape, would you let me get a good night's sleep for once? Hmm. You know, there's nothing personal in this. It's, uh, it's just that, uh, Be a little safer. Nine. <laughs> Sleep tight. <laughs> Gracias.
Uh, it's not possible. No, Stark. You won't kill me. You're not going to throw away $5,000. Put down that water. Get away from it. <laughs> no. I got the water and I'm keeping it. If you want to follow me, you can. I drink to your health and then adios. You gone crazy. Now we're both going to die. Well, it's nice to have the company. Must have had a rough time. Yeah, pretty rough. When we found you, you looked nigh on dead. It's crazy to go into the desert like <sighs> that. No. I'm glad somebody else was crazy, too. Different for us. We're headed for Cimarron, California. Dad's got some land there. We decided to avoid taking the long trek around and go through the center of the desert instead. But we brought along two wagons, one with enough water. 
for ourselves and the horse. Is that your boy? Uh, yes, he is. I lost my husband. When they decided to kick us out of our ranch in Kansas. And we refused to go. They hired their pistoleros. Oh, I see. So now we're headed for California. Sorry to break into your conversation, but could I have some water? Mm-hmm. Thank God. Yeah, well, I managed to give them the slip during the evening, but in the morning, both the horses and the water were gone. I see, but where were you headed for? Well, we're going down to Alcazarca. Fidel's very anxious to see his father again. Hey, how come Stark's sporting a couple of guns and you don't go around with any? When we were running from Indians, I dropped mine, and Stark picked it up and forgot to give it back. Hmm? Didn't you, Stark? Hmm? <laughs> That's right. Here you are, Fidel. If you're going all the way through to Simmer, maybe we could stay with you to the coach station. Pick up a couple of horses there. Why don't we stay with them and go to Cimarron? We're not in any hurry. Oh, sure, you can stay with us up until you get to Zarka, but you'll have to show me how to use a gun. <laughs> right now, I'm going to teach you how to go to sleep. Come on. Thanks for the supper and for the shirts, Ivan and Daddy. I'm ready for bed. A lot of cigars, Stark. Yeah, thanks. Good London, Barry. You close guards here at night? Well, uh, I don't think there's really much need. There's an odd coyote wandering around. Those horses there would soon wake us up. And I may be right, but I prefer to stay up tonight. I'll sleep when we travel tomorrow. All right, whatever you like. Hey, Ma. Mr. Stark's going to keep guard tonight, you hear? Oh, we'll be a lot safer. Oh, for medicinal purposes, we carry a little whiskey, huh, Daddy? Oh. Thank you. I wouldn't touch it, though. She makes it herself. Did I scare you? She never do that, son. Especially from behind. David, give me that gun. Now you go to bed, you hear? I think I only saw a man use a gun that fast once before. A split second before my husband was murdered. Now what does that mean? I think you know. All right. You're right. I am a professional. But do you know what that means? That means people hire me to do a job they usually don't have the guts to do themselves. You know, you sound like you're making excuses. For what? Look, I'm a specialist doing a very special job. I do what I want to do, and I get paid a lot of money for it. You ever give any thought to, uh, to quitting? A couple of times. Maybe if you took that gun off your hip, huh? Maybe. Good night, Star. Night. Just a minute. Yes? Nothing. Good night. Well, this is where we say goodbye. 
Put some horses right over there. Are you really in such a hurry? I'm afraid so. I want you to have this. But this is gold. I can't... No, no, you don't. You've got to give me a chance to pay you back for everything you did for us. Go on, take it. My pal here is very generous. Hmm? Bye, Mrs. Lundberry. Bye, sir. Yes. Bye, David. Goodbye. So long, Peter. Take care, son. I'll be seeing you. Ha! Ha! So ends love's dream. Let's go. Look, Stark, I drank my own sweat in the desert. Those people had nothing but water to drink. Couldn't we have a beer? Come on. You'd like one, too. I pay. All right. We'll have a beer. You first. Hey, Checker. Get some beers here. Yeah, just one minute. Hey, look, Star. For me, that's the fifth Dakota Cavalry. Aren't you and Charlie in that outfit? Of the Battle of Atlanta. <laughs> Come over here, boys. <laughs> you don't know him, but this is one of the most notorious deserters and filthy swine on the face of the earth. <laughs> Hold it right there. I wouldn't dream of moving. Shouldn't have done that, Stark. You'll be regretting that punch when you're in front of a firing squad and full of holes. Get him up! <laughs> we happen to be on our way up to Fort Warner, where there'll be a reception for you. In the back, too. Well, at least I won't have to look you in the face. Get moving. Coffee, Stark? Here. <laughs> Too much sugar. That's not funny, Stark. If you want to stay awake, go ahead. It's your last night. Sleep well? <laughs> Good 
Here, eat this, chico. You wanted to sleep on your feet. Bueno. Let the others have some, too. Yet. Come on. No, no, that way. I got you away from Norton because I didn't like his face. But now I think you'll be able to make it by yourself, without the art. I leave it for you, down there. Adios, Stark. You didn't really think I'd leave that camp without uh, picking up a little something, did you? It's old army issue, but it still works. Someday, Stark, I'm gonna run out of patience. Uh-huh. Someday, Stark. Uh -uh. I didn't give it all to the horses. Fidel. Not too bad. Major, the men are tired. It's two weeks straight we've been looking for them. If that kid's alive, I'll find him yet. If only we hadn't run into those damn rangers, Major. We're just all petered out, sir. And the horses are beginning now to buckle. Major, look at those horses. Come on. Hey, covered wagon man. Huh? I said hi. The pumper. Huh? 
Hi. Uh, I need three horses. Well, nothing doing. Oh, I'll pay. Well, can't you see they ain't saddle horses? They'll do just fine. I'll give you 20 bucks for them. <laughs> or do you want some extra change? Hmm? Put down that gun and go, or I'll kill you. Major, look at that gun. Well, I'll be a... That's Fidel's danger. Yes, sir. Where'd you get that gun? Who gave it to you? Quintana? Your son. Gracias. Welcome, the son of Doña Sol, to the Hacienda. You ask me to get your son, and then you do this? Yes, because I'm not his father. <laughs> this evil woman had him with someone else. Look at him. He's not my son. She lied when she consented to marry me. She spat on the noble name of Quintana. <laughs> the infamy of this slut she bore another child. May he be cursed. Perdona. Perdona me. I always obeyed you, Miguel. Nobody could have been faithful more than I was to you. Adidionos. I know you hate Fidel, but he is not to blame. Let us go. We will ask nothing else of you. Let us go free. Not until I'm vindicated. Our conduct will be exemplary. We shall vindicate the dishonor you brought to my hacienda. Let us go. Have pity. Bring the cross. seed of your wanton lust, of failing morality. The heart now palpitating because of passion or insult. Follows. Well, it's not very pretty, but uh, like you said, none of my business. Adios. Adios. Americano. 
Peter, no! Peter! is dead, Fidel, and your mother is dead. She finally joined them in darkest hell. They're only waiting for you. Hey, you, Americano. The chances of getting out alive are none. I give you another bag of gold. You get back on your horse and out you go. Or you prefer a bullet in your head, gringo, eh? <laughs> Fidel! Huh? The straw. A straw! Yeah. Stark! What do you want, Charlie? I want to kill you. And I'll give you three. With that. Hmm? 
Ready, Stark? <laughs> One. You look nervous, Stark. <laughs> Two. Two. No, don't, Charlie. I'm all right. You think you're dead? Oh! was a great soldier. Only Grant didn't understand. Started off, Dick. And we oh, yeah, yeah. Our Father, who art above us all. Be not harsh to judge this warrior or this Spanish lady and allow them to enter gracefully into your realm. Amen. What are you doing? It's finished. It's all over. I'm sick of this kind of killing. Where are you going, Stark? Huh? Now don't tell me you're going to that ranch in California. Take care of yourself, Adele. What a job on your ranch. Let's go. <laughs> 